Hi guys, welcome to another Pathways Wrap. Uh, as we're coming to the end of the season in our Senior Male Pathways, we had our two games on the weekend. Uh, we kicked it off with our Coe New South Wales Cup. We're in a must-win game uh, out at Acor Stadium in the Curtain Razor uh, against the Parramatta Eels. Uh, unfortunately in that one, uh, just wasn't our day. Uh, a lot of serious injuries to the team. They fought all the way to the end, but unfortunately going down 30-12 to 12, uh, to the Eels. Uh, the very next day we had our Jersey flag also take on the Parramatta Eels out at Wentworthville. Uh, in a seesawing contest in that one. Uh, the boys gave it again a great effort, unfortunately going down by six, uh, 32 to 26 in that one. Uh, as we look ahead to uh, those final games of the year, let's look to our next feature this week, uh, continuing with our theme, looking at the life of a part-time footballer, juggling full-time work uh, with the demands of trying to play at that Coe New South Wales Cup level. Let's uh, catch up with Cody and Tyson Hodge, who have been on that journey this year. Yeah, my name's Cody Hodge. Um, proud Familiaroy man, uh, all my family's from uh, Walgood area, so, um, and then Wagga Wagga as well too, so Viradri as well too, so yeah, all my family's from those two areas and yeah, very proud Indigenous man. Got the opportunity to come up to do a pre-season with Sias and um, yeah, been in there, uh, here ever since. I'm Tyson Hodge, uh, front row for South Sydney Rabbitohs Reserve Grade. Um, yeah, it's all, like, me and Twice are only, you know, a year apart, so it's pretty special getting to, you know, go through all of this um, together, something we dreamed of as kids and stuff, and um, yeah, it's very special. I sort of pinch myself every day, like, I'm super proud of him, he deserves every opportunity that he gets, he works really hard, and he's worked really hard to get here, and uh, yeah, we both have, and yeah, I really enjoy it, and I love wearing a jersey with Cody every week, and yeah, it makes me super proud. Yeah, so started out at um, Endeavour Sports High for Clontarf Foundation. So I was working for Clontarf back in um, in Wagga before I moved up, before I finished up, and then did the pre-season obviously, and then started back out there. Got an opportunity, um, started term term two out there. So yeah, it's been awesome so far. All the all the young boys and stuff out there are awesome, and um, yeah, just just happy to have a have a good sort of job. And yeah, I, I love doing what I do, like working with. Know, young young lads as well, sort of young footy players, and it's a sports school, and yeah, sort of, I don't know, makes me sort of feel good that I can sort of, you know, be that um, middleman, still sort of being pretty young myself, to you know, give them, you know, some, um, yeah, help them try and achieve their goals to, um, you know, get to sort of where I am or you know, higher NRL, whatever it is. So yeah. I work at Matraville Sports High. I work in the ILC, which is inclusive learning support, and uh, it's just for kids with like learning disabilities and autistic kids. And um, yeah, and I really do enjoy. I just sort of help them out in the classroom, just wherever I can, just um, assist the teacher and just yeah, teachers aid really, essentially. And um, yeah, I really do enjoy it. They, the kids bring smile to my face every day, like, and yeah, they're, they're beautiful kids, and I really enjoy my work. Matchable. It's the dreams to play NRL for sure, um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm in the right, right spot to, to do that. Just gotta, yeah, keep the keep the injuries away, and um, yeah, just keep keep enjoying my footy and keep playing good. And yeah, obviously, um, I I really do want to make the NRL, and I'm trying my very best to get there. And uh, it's just a learning learning sort of experience for me, and I take it each day as it comes, but yeah, just keep building and um, keep learning and keep trying my very best and hopefully one day I'll, I'll eventually get there, yeah. Just obviously trying to do a bit of extras in the morning and stuff like that, and then um, I'd go uh, to work and work uh, from 8.30 till 3, and then um, I'd go home, maybe have something to eat really quick and then just come to training, and then maybe just try to do a bit of stretching and just all the, all the little stuff to try and get your body right for the week in, week out of footy of this competition, which is really tough, yeah, it's good. Some days it is pretty tough to sort of, you know, especially if you have a big day at work and, you know, there's been a lot sort of happened and a bit draining sometimes, but yeah, come in and, you know, get physio treatment or whatever and get a coffee on the way in, bit of a bit of a buzz and, yeah, come in and back it up. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's, it's pretty enjoyable, like, all the lads um, make it a lot easier too, so everyone's in the same boat and it's sort of, yeah, just got to find a bit of energy at the end of the day. I do look up to just like mainly the sort of the tougher boys like I'm really starting to watch big uh, Tommy Burgess I, I love 
he looked after me in the pre-season and uh, yeah, he, he taught me a lot and I really look after him. Um, he's very fit and he just, yeah, he strives to do his best every week and he's all heart on the field, as you can see, every week and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to build my game off him. All of the lads really took, um, you know, took all of us boys under their wing. Um, a few, yeah, obviously Latrell and um, Cody, I'm pretty close with those lads. Um, you know, always, always got time for me and with whatever questions I had or even if I just needed someone to talk to, I was a bit down about, you know, might have trained, um, trained bad or whatever it is, you know, and always there to pick me up and, um, yeah, you just realise that at the end of the day, they're just normal people as well, just like you. Um, superstars, especially for, you know, young Indigenous men like myself, like those two boys, there's no bigger sort of names in, in footy. Um, yeah, and for them to sort of, you know, do what they do day in, day out for me, it's, it's pretty special. Um, yeah, I love the challenge of the finals coming up now and um, yeah, we're really building something special this year. No, well, uh, we're very lucky here. We're Dane and uh, Jace, Dory, they brought some good boys in. Um, I really feel that we're going to have a strong end of the season. Yeah, like all the boys sort of, you know, I've got a lot of boys in our program that are sort of around this area and stuff and, you know, some boys are in the South Junior system and different things like that and just having that in my corner, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. South's a, such a, you know, unbelievable club when it comes to, you know, the community and what they do. So, yeah, it's very special to be a part of that. Um, yeah, and it, it's helped me massively. Yeah, I love today. Like, it's been all in awe with all the boys and just the, it's a great club. I, I didn't realise how good of a club South Sydney was and all the history and I love like uh, hanging out with all the boys and they just treat you like their brothers and uh, yeah, I really uh, enjoying the ride and yeah, taking up every moment and opportunity to obviously do myself proud and my family proud for this club. Great to hear from those two guys, uh, and again, uh, we take our hat off to all of our part-time players in our Flag and Cup and our Harvey Norman women's uh, with juggling the demands of work, family and footy at this level and the commitments that they make. Uh, looking ahead to our final games for our male pathways this weekend with obviously our buy in the final round, uh, we have our KOE New South Wales Cup looking to finish the year off strong with the curtain raiser on Thursday night out at Acor Stadium. And then on Sunday, our Jersey flag will also take on the Penrith Panthers, looking to try and finish in the winner's circle to see out their season. As always, please keep an eye on the website for kickoff details and times.